Hello there for the humans and today I want to talk about all the free premium tanks in World of Tanks Blitz that have been given out over the years such as for example the M60 but also um, tanks like the Spike who's been given away recently and stuff like that. So let's start off with the most controversial one obviously which was of course the M60. I received this tank for free um, and this is basically just a different adaptation to the M48 pattern so it's not not that special but it was very special when it came out because the way it came out uh, everyone didn't get it it was given away randomly basically to a lot of people like sure there were speculations that uh, it depended on how much money you spent on the on the tank on the game or um, about how much you played the game, or how long you've been in the game. But then again, there, there was people with like 500 battles that just started the game that got it. So I think it was rather given away randomly. And that was a big, big problem there for Wargaming. Because they just gave away a T10 tank for free to random people. Um, so that, that was a really, bit, really big problem. But um, let's then look at all the other tanks and let's then compare... Um, if they gotten better, if they gotten worse, the free tanks, uh, or what changed about them. Let's let's make that the core idea of this video. Have free premium tanks been worse than before, or have they gotten better? So now they get the uh, M60 controversy out of the way. Let's start off with obviously the past. And um, what I can say as myself, I have received, for example, the Dracula for free. It was I think a uh, 2016 or something like that, a Halloween event where this tank was available for free. Um, it was just a ev regular event, you know, we had to grind stages, we had to grind stuff, and you could get it there easily. Now, while uh, talking about this tank, let's get into a battle so you don't have to stare at the garage the entire time. Um, basically, what this tank is, it's still a very, very strong vehicle. Um, and it has been given away for free back in the day, but nowadays, um, I don't know when it was on sale last time, but it's not really cheap. For example, it's, it has been sold for Christmas auction for like 30,000 gold and stuff like that. So it's not really a cheap tank. But you could get it for free some time ago. And it sort of held up against all the the, the smashers and the, uh, the grave diggers and, and fuck that thing, but... The, the grave diggers and the, the annihilators of the world, it's sort of held up in a way because it does have one speciality and that is the insane mobility of this tank. What this is basically, it's an MX CDC um, with, well, that's better than everything, um, except the gun maybe. Um, you can use it as a scout like I'm doing right here because the team's going into the city. You can pretty much use it for everything. The gun's 225 half of damage, 6.4 second reload. Which translates to a little bit more than 9 rounds a minute. So it's pretty solid gun as well. Um, not too inaccurate there. So that was a really, really great tank to have. And if you grind at that event, you could just get it free and it was, it was pretty cool. And it still holds up to this day and it's still a very, very competitive and very good tank as you can see right here. And also, um, you know the prime tactic of every Dracula driver is to just YOLO into the enemy's spawn and distract everyone. That's basically what I'm doing right here. I'm taking away a lot of fire. Because Helsing has to move back, all the three light tanks have to move back from the enemy team. Scorpion has to turn around. I'm gonna move back in here, go around here, avoid the Helsing, and now get out. Try and somehow save this match, because obviously, as you can see, if you go into the city, you lose. That's That has been true since the beginning of the game, and it is still true today, when the Dracula came out. And is still relevant now. Now, I have survived that insane journey there through basically everything, and I'm still alive. Which which kind of says a lot about the Dracula. You can't do this in a Smasher, you can't do this in a lot of tanks. But in the Smasher, you can. In uh, the Dracula, can rather, and uh, I'm gonna die. But yeah, this, this tank has held up pretty well over the years. Obviously, the team quality is getting worse and worse every year, but that's another video. Um, so there's definitely that. Then another tank that I received for free that hasn't done it quite as well is the RS2 Defender. Now, the RS2 Defender, um, I got it at an event, I think it was like the top 25,000 players could get it for free. 
Uh, as far as I know, I don't remember quite correctly. I think it was a Halloween event as well. Now, what has happened to this tank over the years? Well, have 1,900 DPM. It's just 0 0.34 accuracy, so it's not really the best tank anymore compared to maybe an Object 252U. But it still holds up quite well against stuff like the IS-5 and the IS-6. But against 252U, against an AMX M449, it has no chance anymore. Simply, it's outdated. But you could have gotten this tank perfectly for free. And then let's go from the past into the future. Obviously, that was a defeat in the Dracula because... Those, those kind of teams don't win you. I... No, I, I don't want that. I, ha I have enough gold. But anyway, thank you for the awful war gaming and uh, go fuck yourself. Anyway, uh, now... Let's go uh, towards the newer tanks a little bit. And um, there's two that I want to cover in the lower tiers right here. And that's the P43. Um, it's not a premium tank, it's just a collector. So it doesn't even make credits. But it's just a tank that was gotten... Given out for free for the... Uh, six year event thing. It's basically just a P43. And, in, in a fancy skin, basically. So that's not really anything special, but I mean, it's a free tank, so can't complain really. And then uh, another one is the Spike, which is given out uh, through the Burning Games event stuff. And also, this is just a uh, Stritzwang M42, a copy of it, with sort of similar performance. It has great gun depression. It doesn't really have a lot of armor. It has an okay gun. Protea 5 tank. Not, not too bad, not too good either. It's tier 5, it's not going to earn you that much credits. But low tier tanks have always been given away for free because they don't have a lot of value. Not a lot of people buy them anyway and they're sort of like a kind of gift to, to keep you playing in a way. So that's why I'm not really talking about these low tier tanks too much because they don't really matter. But below tier 6 you don't really, you don't really get in a, a way where, you, where it matters too much. Like T T6 and above, that that's where it really matters. Sort of. And that's why we're going to now go to one of the most recent um, free tanks, in a way. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, it is, first of all, the E75TS. Now, the E75TS has been given away in an event not that long ago. Um, I mean, well, it's 2020. Everything feels like it's years ago, but anyway... Um, and uh, the way you get this is you have to collect uh, these certificates, and if you had 415, uh, you could get the tank for free, basically. It took you quite a while, but you could have gotten this tank for free without a problem. Now, is this, is this a good good tank? Well, not that much. Has the quality of, of free tanks declined over the years? Well, in a way, I would say yes. Because while you could get the Dracula, or the Helsing, in fact, for free... Um, you can't get the Annihilator for free, you can't get the Smasher for free. Sure, obviously the, the Smasher and the Annihilator are in a completely different category uh, than the Dracula, but still, the Dracula is a very, very good tier 7 light tank. Still is. So, in a way, the quality has declined a bit. You could still get free tanks, obviously, but most of them are low tiers, and you can get this one, which required a lot of work. I mean, those 415 certificates. You needed uh, uh, to gain mastery badges, and that took you quite a while. So if you weren't that much of a skilled player, if you couldn't get that those aces, those first classes, it took you a really, really long time because you had to collect like 200 third classes to, um, to actually get the vehicle, which is quite a lot over a two-week period. So, well, it wasn't as much free it was more like you don't have to pay money you just have to pay with your soul but in the end was the grind worth it if you're a really decent player and if you're a good player and you could have gotten this tank in let's say 15 20 hours of play then i mean sure it's worth it if you're a free to play player and you can get yourself a sort of decent uh, tier 8 heavy tank which you can grind credits with it's sort of like a copy of the Lerve in a way i mean both don't really have the best of statistics. Um, and, like, sure, it's, it's an okay vehicle. It's not as horrible as, like, an FCM or something like that. Or, like, an IS-5. But then again, it's no Dracula and it, it's no Defender. Even though the Defender has been power crept a lot by the, the new era of, of tier 8 um, premium tanks, which... In Real Tanks PC was kind of started by the T2065 in a way, 
and scope in G. So the, the, those are like the, the, the first generate second generation premium tanks that are just way much better than anything that you can get in a tech tree. And also way much better than that piece of shit, which is an FCM 50T, which you could get for free now, in a way. I mean, you have to sell your soul to Wargaming and watch their tournament streams with absolutely pathetic observing, and then get lockbox keys and then get uh, the parts for the tanks in those lockboxes. Uh, or you can get a Progetto 46 as well, so all in all, you can get sort of okay tanks for free. But it's not ev for everyone. That is weird, because we see that the game is aging and Wargaming has to, to make something for new players to start the game in the years of Fortnite and Call of Duty Mobile and all that kind of stuff to, get, to keep the game interesting, so they have to give away stuff that's for free. But they also don't want to give away stuff that could impact the game negatively because then obviously all the old players that have paid and played their way to the top are just gonna stop stop the game. So I think with, with, with free tanks they haven't gone worse and they haven't gone better either. You can't get the Dracula for free anymore but you have sort of a chance to get a Progetto but then again it's in loot boxes so that's kind of not that fun either. So I don't know. What is the point of this video? You tell me. I don't know. M m maybe to bait people into believing this is another giveaway. It's not. But anyway. Um, I have been beat by the shit tank. And uh, with that shit outcome, it is the end of this shit video. Is it though? Well, what I do about the free tanks? Well, I don't mind them. It's cool. As long as they don't give away smashes for free. Go ahead, Wargaming. Go ahead. Don't be greedy for once. Way to go. Yay. Bye.